everyone, I'm Sasensi, back here with Atlas, playing some more Ash of the Empire, and, uh, yeah. Have we recovered from last episode? <sighs> no, because it happened literally, like, 15 seconds ago. For us. But for them, it's been two days, so... Mm hmm Yes. Two days it has been. Are we trying to make this a normal video, or are we going to try to just not change anything? Look, it, it will... Or it just will let nature take its course. Look, it will identify as whatever kind of video it wants. What about you? What what about um video playlists? What which one can it use? The long ones or the short ones? Whichever ones people it well people want it to be in. What about all, the all video section? If it wants to show up there, it can do. Okay, I know your views on video equality. <laughs> sake <laughs> let's continue this madness or as normal okay. we, we we are just terrible when we don't have content to actually give no we have we have content it's just we blatantly ignore it yeah it's like uh what was it when we just bring up one thing and it just spirals out of control Like, uh, arrowheads that get shot in the engine. I hate when my arrowhead gets shot in the engine because it falls over and goes bleh. <laughs> inside no. Inside jokes, inside jokes, no one knows them except me and you. We're not bringing that back, good god. Okay. Good to know. Because it's definitely an inside joke. I fall over and go to sleep. I can't deal with this. <laughs> Why is our channel just just it? Right, we we need to we need to get off the whole dirty jokes thing. Okay, okay. Um, um, uh, we can talk about vegans and how they don't like to eat meat. Yes, good job, Atlas. No, oh jeez. <laughs> My, I, I was literally not trying to make that a thing. <laughs> I was just trying to bring up a conversation. What the hell? Okay. Bring up. <laughs> Anything can be taken as dirty. That's the unfortunate my truth. My microphone won't stand up straight. <laughs> literally, like it falls over, and I, I'm literally having to hold it with my right hand just to make sure that, that the handle doesn't break. <laughs> That's that's completely true as well. I have to buy a new one. Uh, <laughs> I'm worn out from being used too much every day. Yep. Ah, uh, this stuff never made me laugh until I started working at the place I currently work at. Why? Because they've all got filthy minds over there. So, basically, you were clean before you met me and then you were working. Yeah. Work workplace humor, it gets to you. It, it that that is a workplace humor is. It's just dick jokes. Uh. At least that's just been my entire experience of it. And if you don't laugh at them, the day takes ten years to pass. So people are forcing their dirty jokes on you. Yes. But anyway... No, you can't segue. It doesn't work like that. Most... No, I don't have a segue. That I is your I segue. I did, because they are awesome. That is your segue, though. And anyway. and I mean segways, not swagways, which is just... That's just a stupid name for them. Sw swagways. I, I hate that word with a passion. Swag? Yeah. Swag. Why do you hate that? I hate it too, but why do you hate it? It just sounds so... chavy. <laughs> For all my American viewers, a chav is like... Um, how would... A I typical lower-class person 
Well, not lower is, class. It's someone. Yes, it, that, is, it is lower class. Well, it's lower who, class, but you can be lower class and not a chef. It's. Yeah. Uh, lower class, but they're loud, generally very disruptive, basically very antisocial. They uh -huh. like to wear their branded sports gear. Emos, but but more aggressive. <laughs> that That's what it would be. Emos, no, but they're no. more aggressive. But, the, the people who walk around in their trackies with their Nike shoes and their Adidas. Or a hippie. Know, it's like a hippie emo love baby that's angry. <laughs> <laughs> Great, we're back to offending people. We've been doing See, this, this is one of those ga this this is one of these games that you just can't like comment on. The same thing like oh yeah this tank's blowing up this tank for the hundredth time well we have some smoke coming out of the back of this one we have oh look at Missiles it turret turning it in the face very we have a tank that's currently upside down as well i think the only reason our from the depths content works is because of these conversations i think yeah. we would be like much literaler well i have a little apc oh, that just jumped a missile Dun -dun -dun -dun. It didn't jump the missile. That's adorable. <laughs> Not as adorable as a Cyclops. No, that was just amazing. Who sent me that photo? I, I asked, have no idea. I asked for it for like the whole summer, and then finally someone like gave it to but me. Finally, like, some someone did like the like a a very bad version of it, but still, it was the only one we it got. It was something it was brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Was, was At least someone did it. Uh, I I never gave him credit either. I feel sorry about that. I don't think they watch my videos you... anyways anymore. So whatever. <laughs> YouTube just unsubscribed them. I know. The the channels I watch the most, I'm always unsubscribed from. I always have to like. I I I've never had that happen to me, but. Yeah. I'm always worried when, like, I see my sub count drop. Oh, I hate that. Like, multiple in a day. Like, because I'm such a... Well, because we're small channels, we, we can notice it. Yeah, we notice it a lot more than the big channels. It's like, what was it? One day when I lost six subs, I, I thought, oh, crap, there goes my channel. Yeah. I've only got just... nine subscribers in the last two months. Ah, that's fine. Fine. It... <laughs> we have the smoke like 130 areas. back in the heyday of like halfway through Nieder. Yes, and Redstone's been on like 4.7k for like the past half a year. Shut up. What do you mean the half a year? I mean he has gone stagnant recently, but yeah, <laughs> with his uploading of OSTs. Okay, hang on. I I I will just uh, check off. Uh, bitching about redstone off the list of things to do in our videos. We have to need. We need a list. We need a list, and then we need to put it on a T-shirt. Oh, that was when I was playing Avorian. I actually did that because it got a quest, like I said earlier, to um actually go and get some items. So I legit brought up a notepad document. I paused the video that I was recording, pulled up a notepad document, copied the list onto my other screen, went onto Google, and found out where you can get them off the game's wiki and then put that into a notepad document and then restarted the video with that notepad document on my other screen it's a very chavish thing no hmm. but why though i mean it's good for the content but if you're playing a video game don't do that no it's how i do <laughs> so i don't have to keep tabbing back into menus if you have multiple screens, make use of them. Yes, I have two. My life used to be a living hell before I got to my second one. Ah, we are mopping up quite well. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna seen clean up all that look. brown mess. And actually, I think there's only about like, five more twin guard territories. Doesn't it look like a, just a poop stain, though? <laughs> the, the Steel Empire just looks like a poop stain smeared across the landscape. Shut up. It, it does. 
Just bricks in the middle of nowhere. Ah. Uh, to I think, think we are we are ri we are very close to actually finishing the campaign. That's scary. I don't know what we're gonna do afterwards because you're done with From the Depths after this. Not pretty much. Yeah. Not no, done probably, with it, no. but the whole multiplayer thing. I mean, uh, yeah, I could I could do a few things to From Depths still, but I've just it's stagnant for me. We really need to find like a new game. I think we just need to start doing a Vorian co-op. That's a good idea. That game is no. brilliant. No, I'm not sure how we'd do it. Like, would we have it? Like, if you start a single-player series on it, would we eventually have a link? Or I think you should keep your single-player series, and maybe we start a new one, but with a story. I think if we start like a new series, we need to make it like. Because I know, uh, no, I know, Avorian does have its own story in it. I know, but I, we've done this kind of content for a long time where we just sit and talk about something why the game is in the background. We kind of this is kind of like a podcast most of the time unless we're building. Yeah, it it is pretty much just a podcast with gameplay in the background. Yes, and I think we should if we want to grow to the next stage and stop being stagnant. What we really, really, really need to do is make some better quality content that's longer and daily. Joe, you know I, I think we just need to find like, like, like how I said, like StarCraft Two co-op. Yeah. Like, something that's got a story behind it that we can both get invested in and that people can also get invested in. Yeah. Cause Have you while played I this do, uh, the stories yet? I've only played Wings of Liberty, but mm. I've, wa I've, basically, I've watched gameplay on everything but the co-op stuff. Ah. I'm the same. I've uh, Wings of actually, Liberty. I have been thinking of doing a StarCraft 2 Let's Play. Because I, I do love the StarCraft universe. It is great. But there's, there's so many games I want to play. Well, why don't we just make videos on them? I don't want to just overload videos. I'll be one of those channels that just spams videos, even though I pretty much do that anyway. Well, hold on. No, let, let's keep on that. Well, then, how about instead of more content, we produce better content? Hmm. Because I think that's where we're lacking. We have plenty of good content with a good community that is yeah. really here for our personalities, really. I think 50% of the people are here for the game, and 50% are here because of us. Well, I, th I think I think at, at the start, like, a few people are here for the game, and then... Like, the if only they people watch, that really if... watch the end are the people that like us. Yeah. But the, the people who watch my videos generally like the more serious gameplay focus. Yeah. I feel. This is never catered to that. No, from the depths. It's not one of those games you can really get into because it is. It's cause really a solo game, like or you play with your friends. There, you can't commentate over yeah. this game. Yeah, that's why no one plays it, and that's why Lathland and yeah, people you, don't play it anymore. You can't. Well, it, it's it's because you can't really micro manage or macro manage either, because it, it's it's like a mix between an RTS and a simulator, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's like it wants to be an RTS, but it's a, it's really a simulator. Yeah, but the whole like if if it wasn't for the whole begin battle thing and like everything was just like all units were spawned in at once. Oh, that'd then be I great. Reckon, that'd be a and great. And you could game. like and you could give orders. Like you can give orders now. Like give yeah, take it into you know my personal control and order and where to go. But the AI is wonky and won't do that. And there's no real struggle in From the Depths because there's ways you could just get around that. Like, if you're losing a battle, just no, no one's winning. You're not losing, really. Yeah. I think I think the fact is now, the game's got to a point where some weapons, if you know how to build them, are just overpowered. Yeah. Or, For new or beginners, if you like, it's or a really if, hard if, game. Or if you like, like how we discovered how powerful packs were. And then, yeah. and also you have these people making like advanced cannons, which basically fire beams. 
that yeah. can just shred everything. Like right now, we're decimating these things, like every couple seconds. Yeah, because it, it, it's the fact. But this is due to natural progression. This one, the reason this, like, because our, our ships have been through so many iterations, and I've constantly been tweaking them. They've that, got to a point where they are. They can be killed. Mo they're mostly invincible. Yeah. Unless they get mobbed or someone lands a lucky hit. Which is rare. Unless we're fighting crams. Yeah. Then they always land a lucky fucking hit. Because explosion clipping, I found out that was a thing. Hmm. People who don't know, explosions can sometimes clip through armor. Yeah, and damage Which means stuff they can on the damage inside. stuff on the inside without doing any damage to the outside. Oh, they still damage the outside armor, but mm. I like I like your Hellboy firing here. <laughs> Completely miss, but it does good you when know. the aircraft is incapacitated. It just ends the thing. But I will end you. So where do we see like the channels going? Because for me, at least, I see from the depths slowly going away as new games take yeah. hold, and I eventually plan to make decent quality content twice a day. Well, as far, far as I'm concerned, this will probably be one of the last major series, unless I make like some form of custom map, which I'm probably going to start working on. Yeah, I think we'll have to do that in the transitioning period between. Yeah. I I, I think what we'll do is I reckon I was going to work on a custom map, mm -hmm. put our own factions in it so we can give it our own story. Ooh, smart. And then we release four different like versions of the map where mm -hmm. you can place each faction and each faction has its own individual units, its own feel. Like, uh, your, your faction would be very rudimentary, very inefficient in like ways of doing yeah. stuff over overpriced overheating engines and stuff yeah co constant failures overpowered weapons that are basically glass cannons but yeah it's like, the, you I, like I make machines in from the depths if I have no volume limit that can't be killed yeah. unless you hit their Achilles heel that's what and I then make you'd have like re redstones faction that would look very nice but does nothing L lot lots and lots of gimmicks to it and then yours would perform decently look my, decently. my, my pro i reckon mine would probably be like the bog standard can do everything okay but it's not great in anything yeah master of none really yeah I, I'm, I'm just your bog standard military force yeah and then we have Sam, just all aircraft. That Sam, yeah, he, he's only allowed one. <laughs> <laughs> one really overpowered aircraft, and he's just like the boss of the whole game. And and the only way to snipe him is you've got to like manually line up a a, a max inaccuracy pack shot from ten kilometers away. Hmm. Damn it, I missed. Well, I... you'll have to wait ten hours for the next shot. <laughs> I think what would make the game really interesting if there was no AI. Like, if you had one ship and everything was manual. Like, because there would be so much cooperation. Like, it would be like, you run to the back gun, we need air, 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 um... We need uh, advanced air cannons like, uh, taking out those things. Guns of Icarus. Sort uh, of thing. Yeah, it's just because then the content would be a whole lot more interesting, and we wouldn't have like these waiting periods where nothing's happening, because in every battle. Well, no, this is it's just the movement phase, isn't it? Yeah, because in every battle, if we were to do something <laughs> like that, there would have to be like extreme cooperation, and like our we would have one craft, and it'd have to be great and very efficient. So, uh, uh, uh... You know what, just for the sake of it, I'm gonna spend this next battle in like the strategic view. Hmm. Oh, like the e really up close one, or like the far away one? Uh, up close, like so I can load oh. in terrain. But that's the thing, like you can do this, and like yeah, you can say okay, aircraft go here, but it's still gonna need to fly around. It still need to do everything. Yeah. It's one of those, really, isn't it? But you can't. You can give your tanks orders. You can tell them to do this, 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 and this. But 
end of the day, they're still going to just point their gun at the enemy and shoot. Yeah. But then again, the same could be said about a lot of RTS. And I'm actually going to go out of strategic view. Mm. I kind of like but, this. But the fact is, once you, you know, get into the battles, it's very hands-off. Yeah. I mean, once you I have mean, a good, decent um, line of... Yeah, service, it's I mean, yeah, you, you could just try and make one super vehicle that you manually control. Well, I'm not saying you would make one super manually, but everything would be manually controlled. So if, for it'd example... Be a re you'd have to set, like, it'd be a real pain in the ass. Like, I'd, I'd well, say... It well, would actually, be a pain, no, what, what it would, would just be a whole lot more difficult. You, you would disable... Mm -hmm. But you'd have you'd have to n number each tank or name it individually so you'd know. Mm -hmm. Basically, you'd disable the AIs on each tank, and you'd spawn in them. And whichever one you spawned in, you'd take main control. If any spawned in that you weren't in, mm -hmm. you could then switch their AIs on. Just so the fact like you don't have five tanks in, but four of them are just sitting there doing nothing. Hmm. And if the tank you're in gets destroyed, then you quickly hop into another tank, switch its AI off, and you take manual control there. Hmm. Uh, oh, maybe like this. You know, like in some shooter games, like you have mm. two AI and then you have two players. Maybe we could be assisted by AI. Like in for this, me and you would jump in two tanks and there'd be two, two other tanks or something along those. Maybe six AI Oh, it, yeah, you mean like... Um... How my friend always used to like. I, I had this friend in in college in high school. If he ever played an RTS for me, he would never do a straight one v one. Why? Because he knew. Because he was always like, well, he he always said I would beat him. Mm -hmm. So he always had to have either an AI on his team that was a difficulty above the one on my team. So I'd get a medium AI with me and he'd get a hard AI with him. Hmm. Or he would have to be on my team. I hate it so much because when Civ, uh, I think it was Beyond Earth, was coming out. Yeah. And I think it like just been released and it was on free weekend. And me, him and three others, we all decided to play it. So we'd all just installed it. It was like we had like two hours left where everyone had to go. We were just going to try out the game. And so it got to a point. We all get in. Okay, we're all in lobby. Just basic free for all. And he had changed it. So he was actually on my team at the last second. Mm -hmm. Without letting anyone know. So there was about five of us in there. But three of us were on our own, and then I thought I was on my own, and so I saw him on my team. Hmm. Just like that, it's that sort of behaviour I can't stand. But so sometimes, well, when people won't openly admit stuff like that. Yeah, that is always on the way. So it was just like, hang on, we all agreed it was a free... F it just... It's all that sort of behaviour. Oh, I'm going to lose, so I might not... I'm just not going to play properly. It's just like... Um, it's like, heck. Mm. Winning and losing doesn't matter. If you're going to lose, you make it as hard for the opponent as possible. And plus, there's always the chance you won't lose. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a chance that when you... Then you take one unit to their base, and you just wreck their base while they're killing you. <laughs> or you just refuse to die. Or you just be the trolley one. Mm-hmm. That's a lot better than cheating. Uh, I'm just gonna... Do you, do you want to start the outro? Yep. Uh, thank you all so much for watching this video. Thank you for you dealing with our shenanigans. What? Yeah, oh, okay. Right. Battle, we're, gonna, we're gonna go out on this. Okay. So, please consider smashing the like button. Um, and, uh, what are you doing over there on your channel? Over on my channel, I am playing XCOM 2. Hearts of Iron 4 as Fascist Poland. <laughs> it, it doesn't get any better no matter how many times I say that. I, I've memorized just Fascist Poland. Yeah, Fascist. and I'm also playing Avorian. That's a great game. Yes. 
subliminal and, messaging. Go watch uh, video. Mm -hmm. What what are you doing over on your channel, my Start American friend? Ooh, thank you. Uh, starting up a couple new series. Please, I need uh, some help on what yeah. you guys actually want. That's my main thing. And uh, ha hang on, hang on. Mm -hmm. There are mechs in the water. I want to see them drowned, horrible dust. Um, and then I also live stream every Friday at 5.30 uh, Central Standard Time. It's a, uh, they're fun and great. You should come mm. check them out. You can also set reminders on the home page of a computer or a phone to let you know when the stream starts. Very nice. Why oh, did the, I press The mechs F9? are like bringing up their hands. It looks like they're trying to paddle. <laughs> it's adorable. Hang, hang on, I tried bringing up my hood and my game's frozen. <laughs> Oh no no no! Oh well, either way, it's the end. Like, there we are, there we are. It's caught up. It's caught up. Phew. Okay, yeah. Oh, that means we would have had to play through the whole thing again. <laughs> <sighs> that that's the worst thing ever, when that happens. Uh, isn't it? Especially when you like at the end. I get ill. Like it happens three minutes into the episode. It's not a big thing. But if you've gone half an hour, and you have to redo yeah. that. Yeah. He says, all that content, all that banter. Especially anyway, on a fact, good video, when you like, oh, that was a good video, and then you have to really Yeah, and you got some really good banter, really good, like, gameplay. You had a funny moment of, like, a glitch. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.